Hey, Brian Krause here. And today I wanted to talk a little bit about credential stuffing. Now over the past couple of weeks, I've been talking a lot about password security, how people might steal your passwords, what they would do with them. And in particular, I wanted to show a little bit about a technique during reconnaissance when an attacker is, is looking to find out more information about you, or once they know information and kind of exploit you further, they do something that's called credential stuffing. Now, what credential stuffing is, it's taking a bunch of usernames and passwords and then inserting them into the login field of a website. And it's trying lots of different combinations. So you might try Brian password 1234, Brian password tennis, Brian password whatever. I mean, you get the point. And then you might also just do it with a lot of different usernames and password combos. So let's say you get a dump from a really large breach. Uh, there's a big one out there. There's a database of you know hundreds of thousands of different usernames, passwords. Maybe what somebody wants to do is say, hey, let me take a bunch of those and run those against a site that doesn't have great security. Because if you, if you try to do credential stuffing on something like a Facebook, uh, a Google, or a, a very large uh, site of that nature, of course, they got security controls that are looking at it. But you start getting into some little hokey shopping site that on one of those, those cheesy Facebook ads or something, well, all bets are off. That's completely a different story. So what ends up happening is a, a tool will be used, and I'm gonna show you a tool in particular called Burp Suite. This is made by Portswigger, and this just makes it a very easy way to load a bunch of usernames, a bunch of passwords, and what's called a, a pitchfork attack, and then you send that to the target site and it just keeps running through all the different combos until you actually get authenticated, which means we found a valid uh, you know, username and password combo. So we're gonna get into a little demo here. I'm gonna kind of show you how this works, and we're gonna do this on a test site. Now, something really cool about Portswigger is they have their academy, and it's a great way to just learn a little bit more about um, you know, security and, and being a, a pen tester. So let's hop into my demo. I'm gonna show you how, how this works uh, using some of the stuff in, the, in their academy and we're gonna go attack the site. We're gonna use a tool known as Burp Suite. It's made by Portswigger. So if you go to their website, you'll see there is this community edition, something free. You can download that uh, to try stuff out. Very awesome. And then of course I got a bunch of paid versions. Also they have in here their academy and if you click on the Academy, you can log in and they got all sorts of really cool things you can do. They got lots of labs uh, where you can learn about just many, many different vulnerabilities and things of that nature, how to protect, how to, to attack them, you name it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna actually use one of their labs in here, which I've got open up and it's called the Excessive Trust in Client Side Controls. Now, when we go in here, this website shows some different products that you can buy from them for shopping. Obviously, I mean, this is a bunch of nonsense, but what's important in here, there is this My Account button and you can click on the My Account and lo and behold, we have a login. Now, as I said, we're gonna download the Burp Suite product, which I have done already. And when we open it up, we're gonna see this. We're gonna just do a temporary project. We click next. And then we're gonna start. Here we go. It's up and running. Now, what we need to do to get started, we need to go into the proxy. And this is kind of cool where they have their own web browser, which we're gonna click this web browser right here. And when we go into this web browser, and because it's their web browser, it has a, a little proxy server running. So the Burp Suite product is able to view anything that is going through this browser. We're gonna go into that lab that I had showed you just a, a couple seconds ago. We're gonna launch that thing. And you're gonna see it's asking me to log in. And, and the reason for this, because we're going through the browser, there's no longer cookies and kind of that, that sort of stuff working that Port Swigger knows who I am. So I need to re-authenticate. I'm now back into this website. What's happening on the back end with Burp Suite is it is 
monitoring some of the, the the traffic that's going through here and you can see each time it shows aspects of websites being looked at which is you know all well and good but what we're going to do is we want to intercept the traffic that's going through so what we're going to do real quick we're going to turn intercept on this is going to be able to intercept the traffic that is going through the website here in their browser we're just going to use a test username test password and you'll see why in a second we're going to click login now what's happened it intercept the communication and we'll see at the bottom here it says username equals test username and password equals test password that is literally what i just typed so we're going to come in here we're going to highlight password we're going to do a right click and we're going to click this send to intruder and you'll see up here this intruder uh, tab just highlighted and what Intruder is, this is a product within Burp Suite uh, that allows you to interject the usernames and passwords or interject fields into something you're going after. You'll see there's, there's a couple things highlighted. We got one, two, three, four things highlighted in green. And there's these, I don't know what these squigglies are, but there's some sort of squiggly saying that is different payloads that they captured. There's a session cookie, there's a CSRF certificate, our username and password. We're not doing any of this uh, cooking testing and, and CSRF stuff. So we're just gonna click clear here real quick. We're then gonna highlight the username. We'll hit add. We're gonna hit highlight the test password. We'll hit add. Now, the type of attack we're gonna do is an attack called a pitchfork attack. As you'll see, it says here, this attack uses multiple payload sets, multiple payload sets. One is going to be username, one is going to be a password, and then there's some other stuff, just how it iterates through. So we're going to select that. We're then going to go into our, our payload, and this is where it gets interesting. We're able to put different payload sets in. So one payload is going to be that username, the other is going to be that password. And here I have our little dictionary attack. As you can see, it has a skull and crossbones, so definitely very evil. We're going to copy these usernames and in payload set, payload set one, we're going to come in here and we're going to paste those in. Then we're going to select payload set two and go back and that's going to be our passwords. So we'll copy those. We're going to paste these in. Now, all of a sudden, we are ready to perform our attack. We click start attack. Tells us that we're on a community edition. Alrighty, now you see the attack going through and it's putting different requests. It's trying Adam with this password, root with this password, admin with this password, Oracle, uh, vice versa. Now we're going to start seeing these status codes and all these things relate to is the responses that are coming back. And right now it's just coming with that invalid login attempt, which we saw here when we, we tried that first time and it says invalid username password. But we'll see all of a sudden we keep getting these invalids and then there's a 302. And what that means is we actually authenticate it. And after that, we then get this 400 error. And the reason for that, that, that has to do with that CSRF cookie. But what we care about is we just determined that uh, Wiener Peter is the username password set. That works. Just to show you this actually works. What I did is I, I had to turn Burp Suite off and, and take that intercept off and go into a new browser just to, to kind of clear out some of the backend stuff that was going on. But if we go in here, I can now use the, the username password, this uh, Wiener Peter that we know works. If I put that into the username password field, I can click log in. And sure enough, we've gotten into this account. And just like this, this is how a credential stuffing attack happens where someone might go after us using a dump of a bunch of usernames and passwords to try to figure out what's usable. Or someone might say, hey, I know a bunch of your usernames. I know a bunch of your passwords. I'll put it in different combos here and I'll start going after sites that maybe I know or suspect to use. So something to just think about, uh, no. And now you've learned a little bit more of how the mind of an attacker works. Now, do you like me? Do you like my content? Well, if you do, I'd appreciate it if you give me a like, maybe a repost, follow, or subscribe. Appreciate it. Have a great day.